I am California of the past. I am California of the past. I am California of the past. When I was 11, uh, my parents made a, a decision that drastically affected my life. They moved me and my f uh, five sisters and brother to California. It was 1962, and my family moved all of us from Illinois to a small Central Valley town. Uh, I came from um, a Civil War era town in the middle of the Midwest. It was you know, beautiful and green and lush and humid. And they dropped us down into this sort of post-war uh, town in the Central Valley where it's dry and um, hot. And uh, I felt like every morning I woke up that, you know, somehow that was a bad dream I was going to wake up from and I'd be back in Illinois. Uh, I hated it and I tried to convince them for the first uh, several months that they had made a horrible mistake. but. At some point, very, very early after we had moved there, they took us to San Francisco to visit. And um, suddenly, I realized that my parents were very smart and they had made the right move. And even now, every time I cross the bridge, there's some part of me that feels like I'm coming home. Whoever would have thought that tumbleweeds would make a great backyard? My brothers, sisters, and I discovered this to be true. Our backyard was fenceless. We'd hide behind the tumbleweeds and pretend to fire our finger-made guns at one another. Somehow, none of us ever hit our targets. We'd turn our attention to red app mounds, and invariably, one of us would be covered in them. My parents purchased a new home and a brand new subdivision in San Fernando Valley. Eventually, my dad built a concrete fence, grew dichondra, added rose bushes. Our tumbleweed days ended. Occasionally, one blew onto our court. No one could guess where it had come from, rolling past manicured lawns. There was this fort that my friends and I built on a small hill overlooking our neighborhood. We were 13 or 14 at the time, didn't have any worries, just had our dreams. Five dollars in your pocket would get you two weeks. We worked hard together to create a place where we could all meet, away from our parents, and most importantly, it was ours. My friend Grant was the engineer of the fort. He knew exactly where to place each twig and branch, interconnecting them until they support each other. It looked like a beaver dam after a while. The fort was there all summer long until it was dismantled by the city public works crew. But three or four days later, we built another one. 